minutes are approved. Next on the agenda will be the State of the Nation, Principal Chief James Floyd. Before I begin my remarks this morning, I would like to recognize um, some special people that are in attendance today. Um, I'd like to begin with our royalty who is right over here. Uh, we have with us this morning Shannon Barnett, Miss Muskogee Creek Nation. Shannon. Also Madeline Gouch, uh, Junior Miss Muskogee Creek Nation. We also have with us uh, several Supreme Court judges this morning. Uh, Kathleen Superna, Supreme Court Justice. <laughs> and Leah Harjo Ware. Uh, we have other community and elected officials. If you can bear with me a few minutes, I'll, I want to make sure we recognize them. Um, Dan Kirby, <coughs> excuse me, who's our Athletic Commissioner and State Representative. Dan. And tribal citizen, yes, thank you. Um, Todd Hyatt, Oklahoma um, Corporation Commission. Todd. Anna Dearmore, um, State House of Representatives. Also, we have with us um, our former Principal Chief, A.D. Ellis. Mr. Ellis. Robert Bible from the College of Muskogee uh, Creek Nation. President. Steve Copeland, State Representative. Next to him is Mr. Roger Thompson, State Senator. Uh, Mr. Sam Alexander, former Speaker of the National Council. Stephen Baldridge, the mayor of the city of Mulgee. <laughs> Our gaming commissioner, Buddy York. <laughs> uh, representing the Alabama Corsardi tribal town, Tilda Harjo. <laughs> and uh, if any other dignitaries that I failed to mention, if you're available, uh, Stan would, and be recognized. We can do so at this time. Yes, sir, Mayor Dewey Park, let's call city of Tulsa. Then we also have with us our tax commissioner and state representative, Mr. Jerry McPeak. Jerry. So, welcome to all of you for being here today. Um, as I begin my remarks, let me first apologize for my voice. I think me, me and Mr. Tiger both have, uh, it's nice to have the warm weather, but I think it brings with it a lot of little allergens that just seem to be acting upon us this morning. So if I uh, pause for a drink of water, please understand it's just to catch my uh, voice, get my voice back. Second Chief uh, Lewis Hicks, uh, Speaker Lucian Tiger III, Second Speaker David Hill, and members of the National Council, our Supreme Court Justices, judges of the District Court, church leaders, Mikos, family, invited guests, and most of all the citizens of the great Muskogee Creek Nation, um, both those in attendance and those who are watching as we stream live across the nation, uh, we welcome you this morning. <clears throat> Veterans, elders, and past Muskogee Creek le leaders, um, I honor you and I'm ever mindful of your continued efforts on behalf of our nation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Since taking office four weeks ago, Second Chief Lewis Hicks and I have begun a thorough review of policies and procedures to ensure full compliance and efficiency in all departments. Also, an outside program compliance audit was recently completed to independently 
review our compliance practices. It is with that knowledge and that as your principal chief uh, stand before you today to deliver the State of the Nation Address of our, of our Muskogee Creek Nation and report that the State of the Nation is strong and is getting stronger. We are working closely with the National Council to establish a firm foundation to administer programs and services, to establish standard practices in all departments, and ensure that we are compliant in all regulations and laws. Realignment will be necessary to be more efficient, to rid ourselves of duplicative efforts, and to reduce the practice of relying upon appropriated tribal funds. We will continue to strive to be practical, set clear priorities, and be open-minded, and to have open communication with staff and citizens. Specific efforts that we are undertaking, um, I will outline in the remainder of my remarks. <clears throat> Excuse me. In financial management, I am pleased to announce that after much hard work and uh, consultation with the National Council, we presented a balanced budget for the remainder of 2016 for the executive branch. We have carefully managed vacancies. Uh, we've reduced consultant contracts. We are improving management of tribal vehicles and reducing travel costs. We have already started work on the 2017 budget to find programs, uh, to fund program operations without interruption of services. As of December 30, 31st, 2015, the nation's permanent fund has grown to a market value of $304 million and we are working diligently to ensure its continued growth. In economic development, during the first month of our administration, all business enterprises have reported to the National Council and to the executive branch. This change in practice has provided an opportunities, have provided opportunities for us to understand the present state of income producing companies and ways to improve operations to increase revenue growth from our investments. With continued and regular reporting, I am confident that we will see a more successful and profitable year for our businesses. Yesterday, River Spirit celebrated its topping out ceremony for our new resort hotel with, with our construction partners and hundreds of workers we participated in the time-honored tradition of placing a ceremonial tree and construction beam atop the highest point of our 27-story resort hotel. This symbolizes a significant milestone. The conversion of Margaritaville Resort is on schedule <clears throat> and will open later this year. In employment and, tra and, and training, I'm grateful for our cabinet members that are here in attendance with us today. <clears throat> Um, for their service and for their leadership. To our staff, demonstrating a commitment to the work that we have and being on time and serving our citizens, we support you and you will remain a valuable asset to our nation. The Human Resource Management Services has reported that our nation currently employs 1,122 employees, of which 871 are of Muscogee descent, 148 are of other tribal descent, and 174 are non-native. As the nation continues to grow, we will be working to be more efficient at providing Creek citizens with job opportunities. With support from the National Council, we have started an apprenticeship program to train tribal citizens to become licensed electricians heating and air conditioning technicians, plumbers, and carpenters. We plan to expand that to incorporate high school students from Votech schools in summer training programs to help them with earn advanced certifications upon graduation from their programs. In housing, earlier this month, the Muscogee Creek Nation was selected to be among the first group of tribes in the, in the country to receive a grant from the United States Department of Veterans Affairs to assist homeless veterans in obtaining permanent housing. We received 20 permanent vouchers, which our housing staff will administer and utilize 
for our tribal veterans. In an effort to better communicate housing programs and eligibility um, standards to our citizens, we have issued press releases, started media outreach, and published brochures. Although it may seem minor, these efforts will continue to expand to address commonly asked questions and concerns. In healthcare, the construction of the Okima Community Hospital in a Mulgee emergency room expansion will be completed this year. The new Uvala Clinic, a joint venture between the nation and the Indian Health Service, is nearing design completion and will soon begin construction. We have added a system-wide lead benefits advisor who will train our staff on ways to assist our patients in applying for Social Security, Medicare, Affordable Care Act insurance, and state program funds. This will help us utilize other funding sources to pay health care costs, thus saving tribal funds and increase third-party revenues. In other projects, um, we have initiated, we have um, begun a Fountainhead Oversight Committee to address the fee to trust, trust issues with the Bureau of Indian Affairs and to develop a comprehensive business plan to develop our Fountainhead property into a world-class destination resort on Lake Eufaula, bringing jobs and economic growth in an underserved population area. Alternate funding proposals for restoration at the of the Creek Council House are being reviewed to complete the much needed preservation of our historic symbol of our tribal government. A Council House Visitor Center is also planned in downtown Oak Mulgee and will serve to preserve, to present our unique culture and history to the public that visit. The Muscogee Creek Nation, through the Department of Interior, has also submitted our intentions to participate in the National Land Buyback Program. In, in intergovernmental relations, our administration has held several meetings with Governor Mary Fallon in an effort to establish relationships and explore ways in which our nation can ensure state laws and policies include tribal participation to ensure our sovereignty remains secure and strong. Our tribal leaders continue to meet with federal and state lawmakers as well as local government leaders to ensure our needs are considered in laws, regulations, and policies. We have held positive discussions on a wide range of topics uh, important to the, our future and will continue to hold these meetings. The Muskogee Media has become an independent agency within our tribe and our administration is regularly providing information they need as journalists working to provide unbiased news reporting to our citizens through multiple media outlets. <coughs> the executive branch, Office of Public Relations, will be more involved with our citizens through social media such as information for our nation videos distributed on our YouTube channel, establishment of a new Facebook page, and redesign of our tribal website um, to bring timely information to our citizens, to support our cultural, to, to, to support our cult and maintain our culture. The second chief and I are working to schedule meetings with church leaders and ceremonial ground mikos to open communication that is important to them and our nation. We want to make sure that our administration seeks their guidance to ensure our programs and services reflect our religious and cultural values. As our administration undertakes this vast responsibility for our nation, we promise our full commitment to you. And it has your commitment as well, as it will take much time and effort to achieve our goals and elevate our tribe. We will remain open to suggestions and comments from you to better address the issues that we face. With this mutual commitment, I see a prosperous future for our nation for the next four years and for future generations. In closing, may we always be blessed for our efforts. May our Creator guide us in the right direction. And may, we always, may, may He always bless us as a great nation. Madhu.